All right, show one. First off, I want to start by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakadash. That's all praises to the world called God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem, and in the name of Yahweh Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the whole for like preaching, swear, and truth and sincerity. On the brother Tazabah, Lord will, with another video to edify. Um, and uh, I wanted to go in make a response to this and this particular portion of the video is what needs to be addressed because this is an all-out show of a, of a lack of faith which shows you why these men do so many things that are against the scriptures lineups long hair wearing hats while they're prophesying right they they had a passover in a, in a damn nightclub and then had strippers come in afterwards they're going on podcasts with niggas that are of the world. Adam 22, they didn't have no rebuke to give to Adam 22 while they were on the show. But, you know, these, these, these dudes, they don't have any faith. And where we find faith in the scriptures, they find fault. And when I play this, you're going to understand that statement. And you said that James went off. So if you guys are saying we're saying that, then I, well, you'd have to say we're both saying that. We're saying that the good, the bad, and the ugly is in the whole Bible. The good, the bad, and the ugly is in the whole Bible. You're dealing with a 2,000-year-old document and counting. There is editorial work. There is uh, um, things that need that, that you have to apply textual criticism to. I'm no longer watching that. You got manuscriptual errors. You got translational errors. You got many variants. This is with any ancient document, any ancient document, you're going to have these things. Historical inaccuracies? Yes. I'm not all messed up and butthurt about it because I'm not a you Christian see? that believes. You see? You're going to have all these things. They're basically saying all these things are wrong with the scriptures because it's an old document. Right? When you go to the prologue of the rock, it told you to pardon us when, when in some places... We come short for the same things uttered in Hebrew or spoken in their own tongue hold not the same force when translated, essentially, right? So we're in when they translated it from the original languages that the scriptures were written in, right? They did their best to, uh, uh, how do you say, they did their best to translate these things but even with their translating, we're supposed to do our own research. We're supposed to go into those words ourselves to get the full understanding. Right? But instead of still believing all the scriptures, they threw out Paul like he has no authority in the scriptures. And you go into the scriptures, right? You're wrestling against men that were greater than you. Mind you. Let me get this one. Um, this is um, yeah. Here it is. Galatian one and. Go to 18, it says, Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode with him 15 days. Right? The head disciple. Right? But other of the apostles, I saw none, save James, the Lord's brother. Now the things which I write unto you, behold, before the Most High, I lie not. Right? Where we find faith, they find fault. When we see a statement like this, Understanding that the Lord is in full control of everything. We know that when these words were taken down and they were comprised in the book. Right. We find faith in them to believe, OK, this is a real report. The fact that the Lord kept these words in these scriptures over this entire time period. 
from the day the Bible started being printed till now shows that the Lord to for us shows that the Lord kept these words in there for a reason. So we accredit Paul with that authority, especially when we go through the writings of Paul. It says afterwards, I, I afterwards, I came into the region of Syria and Sicily, uh, uh, Cecilia and, and was un, unknown by by face unto the churches of Judea, which wore in a Mashiach, right? But they heard only that he which persecuted us in time past now preached the faith which once he destroyed. So Peter was a was a was a witness to Paul's apostleship. Right? He was a witness to the power that Paul and the authority that Paul received of the Lord. But where they find fault, saying that, oh, you got to do all this background research, those men make mistakes, and, and no, we can't take everything as face value. Where they find fault, we find faith. Right? Now, I wanted to hit a couple scriptures on this, and we can get into it, man. It's the Hebrews 4. Another book that, that they say holds no authority. Hebrews 4 and uh, 2. It says. I'll start at 1. It says, let us therefore fear. Least a promise being left us entering into entering into his rest. Any of you should fall. Any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. And Sakari, their upbringing was under a great millstone. So the same gospel that was preached to other brothers that believe in this thing was preached unto them. The writings of Paul, right? The entirety of the scriptures. Remember, the scriptures say, eat this, eat the whole roll, then go speak unto the house of Israel. The writings of Paul is part of the roll, right? For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith that heard it. And that's that's the difference. These men don't have faith in the scriptures. They got faith in themselves, not in the scriptures, not in what's written. Otherwise, if they have faith and fear of the Lord, the things that Paul wrote, that he learned of the Lord, like when Paul said what? Having long hair, we have no custom. Right? We didn't have a custom of that. But they'll sit here and say, oh, they're going to be a Nazarite, so they don't want to cut the hair when a Nazarite can't keep the Passover because you can't uh, drink of the, the, the fruit of the vine if you're going to be a Nazarite. So how in the hell do you keep the Passover? You see, the word preached unto them, they didn't have faith in it. They didn't have full faith in, the, in all the scriptures. Because it, it, it negated their desire. This is uh, 1 John 4. 1 John. Chapter 4. And 6. It says. We are of the most high. And he knoweth. Uh, he, he that knoweth the most high heareth us, right? And what does that us consist of? The apostles, right? Including Paul, because he received his apostleship from Yahushai himself. He was taught directly from Yahushai. It says, um, he that is not of the most high heareth not us. Then that goes for the men that are written in these scriptures. Hereby we know, hereby know we, the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, because they don't want to hear the things that are written in the scriptures. And especially you don't want to hear the men that the Lord set up in these last days. We know that they have the spirit of error. Right. There, there's a there's a there's a misfire in their computing. John 17. In 20, it says, it says, I'll start in 19. It says, 
And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they might also be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for my, for these alone, meaning the ones that he saw directly, right? But for them which shall, shall believe on me through their word. And Paul's words were an example of how to believe on the Lord. But when you take those things away, you take away the entirety of the preaching to the Gentiles, which are the Israelite foreigners. How the hell do you do that? You see, Jake is just fucking reprobates, man. First Corinthians one. I knew it on this one. In twenty one. Um, I'm starting nineteen. It says, um. It says, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing the understanding of the foolish, of the understanding of the prudent, right? These men are speaking with so-called the words of the wise, talking about contextual uh, inadequacies. Things that, need, that, that you have to apply textual criticism to? No textual, where where does the scriptures talk about textual criticism? You got manuscriptural errors. You got. What does the scriptures talk about? Manuscriptural errors. Remember, the scriptures say all the words of the Lord are pure words, right? The scriptures say there is no lie of the truth, and thy word is truth. So, where's the manuscriptural errors? These men are speaking with the wisdom of the world. It says, "Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world?" Right. Because, hey, for men of the Lord, it was simple. The Lord said it, so it was true. These men read the scriptures and they find fault within that faith. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? The Most High had made foolish the wisdom of this world. For after that, the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Lord. Do not the most high. So these dudes don't know the Lord. By the wisdom that they try to say they have, contextual error, manuscript error, all that shit, these dudes don't know the wisdom of the most high. The world by wisdom knew not the most high. It pleased the most high by the foolishness of preaching to save them to believe. By the foolishness of just keeping it simple. The simplicity of Yahweh Shai. What does the scripture say? Now you go into it and find a way to take out it, entire sections of the book. And then bring them out for your own benefit. These dudes, the spirit ain't on them. Right? We're supposed to believe, all out believe. That's what the Lord wanted. But when you when you sell out, when you compromise, when you want to boost yourself in the world and not boost the Heavenly Father, then niggas start going off. This is why the scriptures say whatsoever is a, is a praise among men is an abomination to the Lord. Whatsoever is esteemed of men is an abomination with the Lord. And these men have esteemed themselves. Rap videos and the truth and shit. It's bullshit, man. You're getting awards from Sal Netta, a nigga that's in the world that don't really believe in the scriptures. You know, he on that African hotep bullshit. And you praising yourself because you got an award from them. But talking down and talking shit about your teachers, the Lord is about to put hands on niggas, man. Shalom.